Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up printing profiles and production centers in your Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series back office. Printing profiles and production centers are features you can use to organize your print jobs so that receipts and production dockets are sent to the right printer. A printing profile can be set up to assign fallback printers and to control whether a printer prints receipts or production dockets. A production center allows you to specify the printing destination in your restaurant, such as the kitchen or bar. Before you set up a printing profile or a production center, you must add a printer to the back office. Click the link on screen or in the description to watch a video tutorial about adding a printer. Once you set up your printer in the back office, you'll need to create both a printing profile and a production center before you can start printing. First, we'll set up a printing profile. To get started, sign in and go to Configuration, Printing, Printing Profiles. Then select Add Profile. Here, you'll enter the information to create a profile for your printer. This process is quick and easy and is the same regardless of your printer's model. In the first field here, enter a name for your printer profile. We recommend naming it after its printing destination, such as Bakery. Next, use this slider to specify how many copies of a ticket the printer will print. You can print up to five copies at a time. This setting does not apply to receipts. Next, we have selected printers. This section lists the printers chosen to print under this profile. If multiple printers are selected, you can use the blue arrows to rearrange their order. The first printer will be the main printer, and the rest will be considered fallback printers. A fallback printer is a printer you can assign as a backup. If a printer fails, your print jobs will default to the fallback printer. This way, your service isn't interrupted. Finally, we have other printers. All printers added to the back office will be listed here. Check the box for a printer to add it to the selected printers list. When you're done, click Save and the printing profile will appear in your back office. Now that you've set up a printing profile, let's create a production center. Go to Configuration, Printing, Production Centers. Then select Add Production Center. Here, you'll enter the production center information. In the first field, enter a name for your production center. We recommend naming it after its printing destination, such as Bakery. Below the name field is the Virtual Production Center checkbox. This is for kitchen display systems. For the purpose of this video, we'll skip this setting but you can learn how to configure virtual production centers for your KDS on our help center. See the link in the video description for details. Next, we have the printer profile. You can select the printing profile you want connected to your production center. Then we have supported order types. If you have multiple printing destinations in your kitchen, you can use this setting to designate order types to different printers so that your service stays organized. For example, you could create a production center for table side orders and another production center for online orders. By default, this is set to all orders, which is the most common configuration. This means that all orders will be printed through this production center. Next, use this slider to select the number of empty lines that will appear at the top of an order ticket. This is so you can hang the receipt on a ticket rail without obscuring any important information. We recommend adding two lines. Finally, we have six boxes you can check to add to your configuration. Let's take a look. Organize the content of the docket into courses. This allows you to separate an order into different courses. For example, appetizer, main course, and dessert. Prefix names with the corresponding object identifiers. This places the item SKU before the name on the receipt. Print a single item per docket prints each item onto its own ticket. This is useful if your printer has technical issues and is struggling to print a full ticket. Print wider lines. Useful for items with long names. The receipt will print with a smaller font, ensuring the items remain on a single line. Trigger the drawer connector when printing a docket. This setting will trigger a bell sound or flashing light on your printer when an order prints. However, to use this setting, you need a signal accessory for your printer. Contact the manufacturer for more information. And print delivery information. 
This setting allows the delivery information for takeout orders to print on the receipt. When you're done, click Save and the printing profile will appear in your back office. Now that you've set up your printing profiles and production centers, you need to connect an accounting group to your new production center. This ensures that your items are printed at the right destination. In your back office, go to Menu Management, Accounting Groups, and select an accounting group, such as Pastries, then click Edit. Select a production center for the Pastries accounting group. In this case, we'll choose the Bakery production center we just created. Now, all items in the Pastries accounting group will automatically send production dockets to the printer in the bakery. If you create new items and assign them to the Pastries Accounting Group, Back Office will automatically print them at the bakery, so you don't have to manually assign individual items to a production center. Follow these steps for all accounting groups. To learn more about printing with accounting groups, visit the link in the description. Now, let's go to your iPad and reload the configuration. This is a required step whenever you make any changes to your Back Office and we'll run a test to confirm that the printing profile and production center are set up correctly. Go to Settings, Printing Center. Tap Printing Targets. These are your production centers. If the printers show green dots over them, that means they are functional and ready to print. Tap on one to perform a test print. And if you've configured it properly, the printers linked to that production center will print a test receipt with the production center's name on it. And that's it. You've successfully set up a printing profile and a production center. To learn more about printing receipts and production dockets, view the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.